If you'd like to still be in with a chance to win one of these bad boys, keep watching. Hi there, thanks very much for joining me today here on Astro Dwarf Adventures. First off, I'd like to thank these new channel members for supporting my channel, thank you very much. If you'd like information on my YouTube channel membership, you can see that here, or just click on the join button below this video, and all your support is much appreciated, thank you very much. In my last video, I got a lot of comments from my viewers and subscribers asking what I felt about the new software, particularly in Astro Mode, and particularly talking about the autofocus. Is it considerably better than the old version? Is there any improvements at all? Is there still room for improvement? Could I manually make the focus any better than the autofocus was doing? So we're going to address that and we're going to look at that in this video. So I'm going to be doing focus manually using a baton of mask and the autofocus to see which one's sharper and if there is still room for improvement or whether Dwarf Lab have actually cracked it with this new software. Now also, as I said in the intro, it is not too late to enter the free giveaway draw for one of these, the Dwarf 2 telescope uh, and some of the accessories. There's going to be a draw which is going to happen tomorrow, which is 8 o'clock UTC, UK time, which I believe is 3 o'clock New York time. I'll be doing a live, we're in that live, it'll be a, a fun live anyway, I'll be showing some of the images I've taken with the Dwarf 2 specifically and also some of the images that have been provided to me by my subscribers and by my viewers. So that'll be fun to see what they're doing. Hopefully, I'll also get maybe one or two years online as well for a little chat. There will be the chat box at the side so people can ask questions and obviously we can have a chat. But I hope to have a few of my viewers and subscribers actually with me on the live and talk to them and understand their experiences, uses and what their hopes and aspirations are for any innovations to both the software and the hardware for the Dwarf 2 telescope. So that's going to be a fun little live anyway. Now if you happen to miss that live, if you can't make it, do not worry. I will be doing the draw as per the rules for entry which is in the last video. I'll be doing the draw for the Dwarf 2 telescope and some of the accessories. Now it's not too late as I said, if you haven't entered that already, please go back watch that video. It's a good video anyway if you're new to the new software or perhaps new to the Dwarf 2 telescope. I'll take you through the new software update. I'll take you through the workflow every stage in Astro Mode within the new software to get a great quality image and know how to set up and use the telescope. So, and if you haven't already entered the draw, all the details are throughout that video if you watch that and you can still be included in the draw which is going to happen on tomorrow's live. Now don't worry if you cannot make tomorrow's live, the draw will happen. Once the live becomes a video, you can then contact me if you're one of the winners. Uh, obviously, I'll do the entry check requirements to make sure you, you've entered properly uh, and I'll arrange for Dwarf Lab to send your prize straight out to you. Now, we'll be doing checks, so you must make sure your entry is complete. Entry is simple, there's not a lot to enter, but if you miss a step, you may not be included in the draw, even if your name is chosen. I may have to redraw if you haven't done all the steps required, so please watch that video, because I'd hate to, you for, to win this bad boy and not be eligible because you haven't met all the criteria. It's really simple, there's not a lot involved, and it's completely free, but there are a few steps that Dwarf Lab and myself agreed that had to be followed to make this a prize giveaway worth doing, so please watch that if you haven't already, and hopefully you'll find it educational, entertaining, and informative to the new software software, particularly for Astro Mode, as you know, I'm Astro Dwarf Adventures and I predominantly use this telescope for Astro Imaging. So please go ahead and watch that video. Now let's go on to today's video, the differences between uh, autofocus and manual focus using the updated software, see if we can see any room for improvement or whether they've got it cracked. So let's go on with that now. So here you now see us within the app. We're in astro mode and we're going to put on the autofocus. So this is quite clever how it does. It will start on a positive focus, work its way down to the potential zero focus, i.e. the smallest pinpoint of focus. And then I'll actually go past that into negative focus. And again, so it finds the extremes, the largest extremes, the smallest extreme. And then from that, it, the algorithm it can work out exactly what was the smallest, most precise objects, i.e. the zero of the focus range, and then it switches to that. So that's actually very, very well done and very clever. So you see it's actually done an excellent job in finding the focus here. Those stars are absolutely pinpoint sharp. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the baton off mask using the uh, lens, sorry, the filter adapter. 
over the top of the telephoto lens and we can see our Batonoff star. So with the Batonoff star, you've got one axis which is fixed, which is your cross axes are fixed. And the central vertical axis, as we're looking at here, we can again go in and out through negative and positive focus. And we're trying to put the central axis right in the middle. So we'll see here, we'll be able to move this to negative and positive focus. The X will stay true and the vertical axis of, or leg of the star, arm of the star, whichever you want to call it, you can see we've moved to the left out of focus, we move to the right out of focus, and then we're just tapping it to the positive, just move that back to the middle, and you're just going to put that right in the very middle, and once that's in the middle, you will have perfect focus of the batten off star. So when we eventually remove the batten off mask, so we can just remove the filter adapter from the front of the telescope, we'll have perfect focus. And we'll see how that compares to the focus that the autofocus of the new software achieved without any sort of manual calibration or correction. So we'll have a look at that now. So on removing the batten off mask now, we can see again, we have exceptionally great pinpoint focus. So let's do a before and after now. So the autofocus will be on the left and manual focus using the batten off mask will be on the right. And you tell me what you think, which one did a better job. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's answered your questions about the autofocus on the new software update. My personal feeling is the update is fantastic, generally in astro mode even more so, and the autofocus is one of the largest and most singularly best improvements of this new software update. I believe the autofocus is great. Can it be slightly out? Yeah, perhaps if there's a slight haze or something and using a batten off mask, just to get it dialed in, even an, an, another fraction can always be good for your final image quality. They have done a great job, haven't they? So this is fantastic. I could not be more happy with this. So again, remember to watch out for the live tomorrow. That is going to be 8 p.m. UK time, which is UTC, or I believe it's three o'clock New York time. You will see a post uh, in the community area and you should see the lives ready, sitting waiting for people and you can click on waiting to make sure you don't miss it. As you know, your support is greatly appreciated. You can support this channel by simply liking this video and subscribing. That is brilliant. And to make sure you won't miss future content released by myself. If you want to support me further, you can click on the join button below this video and become a YouTube channel member. Any support you can give me is absolutely fantastic and really appreciated. Not necessary, but appreciated. I will keep making quality content for you guys regardless. Thanks very much for joining me on this video and I hope you enjoyed it. So we'll wrap this video up here. I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the live and don't forget to look up because you just don't know what you're going to see. Take care guys. Thanks very much.